Nico, welcome to Sea Talk. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Good. Can you give us a little bit of an introduction of yourself? Yeah, my name is um, Nico Ali. Um, I own a premier store in the Scotch Estate, Edinburgh Road in Jarrow, that's um, in Newcastle. Me and my brother Taz have been running that store for 30 years. Wow. So 30 years, you must be properly part of the community, sort of know everyone around you. Oh, yeah, it's a lovely community and um, it's like a family, really. And uh, we've all based with each other. We all like talk to each other when the customers come in. 30 years is a very, very long time. I suppose you can sort of see different sort of generations sort of growing up for all those yeah. years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, do you see the youngsters? They've grown up now. They've all got good jobs. You, you see the granddads, everybody. Yeah, it's a very, very like good community but where we are. Lovely. So what has inspired you to do so much community work? So what it was in the lockdown, um, I went I went to the cash and carry, to be honest with you, and um, I cut up getting no bread. And um, I thought, hold on, we, we, my dad's always told us to get bread early in the morning mm -hmm. to get up. It's an excuse to get up to go to the cash and carry retailer. And uh, we could have get no bread in that on that morning. And me and my brother decided to go around the community, start delivering bread. From So we got a local baker involved and we started to deliver bread and milk, which was really hard to get at the time. And we wanted to help the older, vulnerable people out who could have get it. We started off with about 30 round and then we ended up doing like two, three hundred a week. Wow. It was, yeah, it's a scary time, wasn't it, lockdown? It seems like so long ago now, but it affected so all parts of our lives. Oh, definitely, yeah, because what it was, um, you have to help each other. And then, yeah. um, obviously, when people are sitting at home, um, they, they're thinking, will they get the essential, like pasta, flour, everything was running out. How are they going to go to the shops? So we started to do like a delivery, round three delivery, we just started to like help out as much as we can. We got it yeah. out on media and we got really, really good response. And um, it, like I said, it's the community. We're, like, we're all like a family and we've um, been there and for a long the, time. And it was in lockdown that you've now got two books out. Yeah, Have you I, I got, in lockdown? Yeah, yeah. I wrote the two books out because the file was so big. I just thought some of the like vulnerable people who haven't got internet, they all just thought, oh, hold on, right? We don't know how to use the computers or go on to the internet. And I go, listen, I'm going to write two books. So I got the books out for them so they can share my journey, what I went through. It's really nice. So I hear you, you had haircuts at the store. You've been given out hampers. Like, what, what, tell us what else were you doing? So when I was in the lockdown, I didn't meet own dad's haircut. And then I decided to go around giving them all the gents a haircut. You, the you weren't doing the haircuts though, were you? No, no, I was. <laughs> me, um, I just did my dad's, like, like put me yeah. own dad's hair. And then um, there's a hairdresser next to us. And then um, he volunteered to help me out. So we did a couple of hundred haircuts. Then I started to, in the lockdown, and then I noticed the kids couldn't go out meet people so when in uh, what i did was i got um 250 footballs and i got one of the ex-footballers to sign the footballs outside the shop just to keep the community spirit going yeah like and then what everything i can do i just tried my best like going into food banks hospitals i did a lot of journeys in the hospital then when halloween came i started to give out stuff for halloween obviously you couldn't go around knocking on doors no you can so do trick or treating no so what i did was i went out and got like five kg drums and i just let all the people customers come in kids come in social oh. distance like take the sweets from the shop so they had like an entertainment going so I went around even giving fireworks to a couple of families who missed out on fireworks. The journey was the journey is too long, emotional. Well. So and I was reading as well. This is not your first time on camera. I see. I read that you've been on Channel Four as well. Oh is yes, it been yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel Four came out and um, they did like like they was there for full day and then um, they did what. Well, like they went around into the estate with me and um first i thought it was a joke that they're not gonna be coming <laughs> out right but um it was true they came out and um i was 
delighted they came out and they must have recognised for the work I've done. I oh, know it's amazing. So you're this month's community Coca-Cola Star of the Month. So who will you be donating donating the money to? So I will be don donating the money to two people. It will be Heaven Football Club, which they are doing a really good job for the kids' football team, and they help the they, they help the community out as much as they can. And the other hundred pound I will be giving to the hospital where I've always been so hard in the hospital for the cancer. That's brilliant. I'm sure both of the charities will be very thankful of that. Thank you. Nico, thank you, thank you so much for coming on and to tell us about your journey through lockdown. And take care. See you soon. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. No worries. Take care. Bye-bye.